Another type of decision is the shutdown or continue operation. So, of course, the question here is, are you going to stop the operation or continue it? Okay, it is similar to the dropping or retaining a segment wherein you have to consider the overall impact of the um, dropping or the shutting down to the income of the entire company. Okay, we have here an illustration. ABC company now operating below 50% of its capacity expects that the volume of sales will drop below the level of 5,000 units per month. An operating statement prepared for the monthly sales of 5,000 units shows the following. Okay, so here we have a net income of zero. So that's why they consider dropping the uh, particular operations because it's not earning. This concern has been intensified by the sales manager's opinion that the selling price of the company's product will soon have to be adjusted to meet the increasing pressure of competition. Since all costs, as the president puts it, have been cut to the bones, management has under consideration a recommendation that operations be suspended until favorable conditions can be attained and a better selling price can be set. Before making their final decision, the company executives must recognize that not all of the non-variable costs will be eliminated by a temporary closing of the plant. Key personnel cannot be discharged lest they seek employment elsewhere. A skeleton staff must be maintained. Maintenance costs of building and equipment will continue. Taxes and insurance premiums must be paid during the shutdown period. As a first step, an estimate of the shutdown costs must be made. Assume that a conservative estimate of costs if planned operations are suspended indicates a shutdown cost of 2000 per month. Since there is no immediate possibility of profit under present condition, the problem of the company is the possibility of minimizing the loss. Kung di maganita maka earn a profit, at least we could reduce the expenses and further losses. Now, determine if the company should shut down temporarily or continue the operation. So, the decision to continue the operations or shut it down will depend on the expected sales of the company in comparison with the shutdown point of 3,000 units. Okay. So, how do we get the 3,000 units? So, you have here the existing fixed cost if it is to be continued. You have here 5,000. And then, you have the shutdown costs per month. So, you have 5,000 minus 2,000. And you will have 1 peso contribution margin. Okay. So, that would be 3 minus 1. Kala, one is here. So, that would be 3,000 units. This is your shutdown point. So, unsa may gamit sa muhang shutdown point. So, kung muhang expected demand will exceed 3,000 units at least. Okay, at least mo niya ang imuhang minimum. At least mo tong tong siya 3,000, mas better kung uh, above. Again, this is your minimum, 3,000. Better if above, even if below siya sa 5,000 na units. Okay, this will mean that kung makapulos ang company at 3,000 until 5,000, operating loss will be lesser than the shutdown loss and therefore, they should continue operation. So, tanawon sa company ang production. Okay? Tanawon sa company ang production. Kung ang production niya makatungtong 3,000 or more, bahala niya mamitong ato ang 5,000 units ng monthly sales. 
Okay? Okay siya. It can help minimize our losses. But if the expected demand, ato ang magama o ato mabaligya, it's less than 3,000 units, the company should can discontinue, discontinue the operations on a temporary basis until favorable conditions prevail. So, in short, we will not only focus here on the figures based on our income statement. Okay? Dili porket negative na siya, dili porket zero na siya, is wala na gamit na nga particular ng operations. Again, that particular segment or operations could be contributing to the overall income of the company and if you're going to drop that particular segment or drop that particular operation so wala na mo absorb sa uban nga mga expenses mas malugi noon ang kumpanya that's why we need to apply the relevant costing to help us decide better in terms of shutting down the operation it's important to look at the shutdown point at a given shutdown point nga ato ang makumpiwot, we can determine kung dapat bang mag-stop ta temporarily or dili sa. So, uh, identifying the shutdown point of 3,000 units will help us make a better decision whether to continue or to shut down the operations. Because if ever mo below sa 3,000 units ang atong demand o ang atong mabaligya, then therefore, malugi na yun ta. So, stop sa na to. Kay dili worth it ang pag-produce, dili worth it ang pagbaligya, kay mas mo-alkansi na noon ta. But kung katungtong siya 3,000, and mas better kung more, so it can help the company. So, malesen ang mga operating losses of the company. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!